Yet again, Manchester United have been linked with Sergei Milinkovic-Savic. I don't know for how many years this has happened now, but it actually feels like this might be a deal that United can get done. I feel like this is a move Manchester United can get done. It feels likely there's talk that United are in for two midfielders, one of them being Rabiot, and I'm going to be honest, not excited about that one, but I am more excited for Milinkovic Savic. The fact that he's a name that we've been linked to for a long time is irrelevant. I'm not sure you're getting him at the peak of his career here. I don't know if he's already peaked or he's, he's around about that. So the age profile, not perfect, but he does bring a physical presence and a little bit of quality to the team. 27 years of age, somewhere between 50 and 60 million reportedly the price. Um, plays as an eight currently in Lazio's 3-5-2. Uh, so I think he would suit Manchester United's way of playing being probably um, a number eight, a box-to-box -box midfielder almost in a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1. He got 11 goals and 10 assists last season in Serie A. Um, only Berardi and, and Leo actually hit double figures for goals and assists in Serie A last season. That, that's a hell of a metric for a, a midfielder. A hell of a metric for a midfielder. Um, he is direct. He is imposing. Um, and since signing for Lazio, he's got 109 goal contributions in 294 games, which is sensational for a midfielder. Uh, not just that. Obviously, he's a powerhouse. He's six foot three. If you've ever seen him play, you know he's a big lad. Um, he is strong. He is extremely aggressive. I think he is made for the Premier League. Very, very aggressive defensively, very hard nose, loves the physical uh, confrontation and has the physicality to dominate a, a front foot pressing game and be a real force in doing so. It does have uh, defensive capabilities, but I think he's most effective on the ball and pushing into the final third. Um, I think he naturally fits into the number eight role, being... Uh, box to box and in a team that's expected to have 65 percent ish plus of possession you're going to see him effective in the final third uh, and driving into that final third that role currently being occupied by McTominay in a position where he has had the license to get forward um, and also to play the ball forward but McTominay is not very adept at doing that in the system i think it's i, I think it's tailor-made for a player with malinkovic savage sort of personality and set of qualities he'd be a serious threat as the a delayed run going into the box he'd be you know system aside i think he'd be useful at set pieces he would become a real threat um just naturally breaking forward um as part of a second wave or as you know any sort of second ball sort of pressing that we would want to try and do um and once he gets in the box just a, a lot more suited to being effective, hence the goal record that he's got in Syria, um, than Scott would be. Um, other than his past completion rate, which is 81%, um, it really should probably end up being higher in the Premier League. He passes everything with flying colours. He carries the ball, he dribbles, um, does both of those well. He progresses play forward. He's not shy in moving the ball forward, hence why he's got a slightly lower uh, pass completion than you would like and he's elite when it comes to progressive passes received which means he gets into space in between the lines he's in 98th percentile for that which means he's one of the best in the world that's genuinely elite sort of metrics he isn't a dictate the play sort of puppet master that's going to sit deep and he's he's more effective being um being combative and and making things happen and forcing things to happen um in the final third he has the finishing of a very well-polished sort of attacking midfielder uh, and the height and the physicality of a bit of a target man um, or, or even an effective defensive midfielder. It adds size in both boxes that United are lacking, physicality in both boxes that United are lacking. His personality is one that's extremely tenacious. He's absolutely adored by the Lazio faithful. They've nicknamed him Il Sargente, um, aka the Sergeant. I'm sure you could have figured that one out. Um, Lazio will take some convincing to let him go. This is why he was listed not too long ago, a hundred million. This is a massive signing if United can get him. The the problem with Rabio Malinkovic Savage is almost like a Fred and McTominay situation where you're like you're kind of putting them both together and the underwhelming linkage with Rabio is leading us to or leading me at least anyway to to feel underwhelmed when it comes to thinking about Milinkovic Savic in the midfield, because Milinkovic Savic, Frankie de Jong and Bruno is an elite midfield. Literally, I can now start to put United's midfield against any in Europe. However, 
I feel like we're only going for Milinkovic Savic because that's the Frankie de Jong money. And I don't feel like we're going to get the Frankie de Jong. There's reports out this morning which suggest that United haven't given up hope yet. Yeah. But like, we're not sitting at home printing fucking Frankie de Jong 21s, are we? So I, I, on one hand, I feel like this isn't great because this is it. Like it's framed by everything else that's going on. I can't take signing Milinkovic Savic in the isolation of we just signed Milinkovic Savic, which is a genuine, genuine win for the club because it's framed by, and you're signing him because you're not getting him, which is disappointing because United really do need a conductor in the six. Um, Positive for Jimmy Garner, Zidane, Savage, maybe one of the youngsters might get the opportunity and could cement themselves a place in that squad. Maybe even Christian Eriksen, if he wants to try being the sort of deep line playmaker like that. He's certainly got the technical ability to do it. Um, but yeah, I get the impression that this is an instead of rather than as well as, which is a shame because then as well as you've got a fucking serious central midfield on your hands. Uh, and that's the most important part of the pitch. So the case for Milinkovic Savic, oh, he's strong and he's a great player and he will massively make a difference. Can't say the same about Rabio. He just signed a McTominay with a funnier accent. Give us your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.